Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Welcome to Iwani News. I'm Nur Nazira who will stay with you in this broadcast. Malay proverb says, it never rains but it pours can be used for a single mother with five children who lost a job eight months ago. Pandemic COVID-19 changed her life as the successful woman was labelled as M40 now changed as B40. Besides, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit Malaysia in March 2020, the government declared a movement control of the MCO in Malaysia to curb the spread of the pandemic. During this phase, essential businesses are allowed to operate with SOP while non-essential businesses are temporarily closed. However, MCO triggers job losses and difficulties in getting jobs and it gives a negative growth in the Malaysian economy during the pandemic. As a result, many people have lost their employment due to the pandemic and many firms, especially in the industry, have had to lay off their employees because they cannot afford to pay the production costs. According to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, 2.86 million women have lost their jobs making them one of the worst affected groups in 2020. Job loss is a factor that affects every household headed by women, especially single mothers. Losing their jobs causes them to lack a source of income and also their standard of living. Moreover, the impact of COVID-19 also has caused negative growth of Malaysia's GDP in 2020. This is the worst GDP performance compared to other years. Malaysia's GDP declined to 17.1% in the second quarter of 2020 compared to marginal growth of 0.7% in the first quarter of 2020 as the economic downturn was at its worst in April during the peak of coronavirus containment restrictions. Next, I will pass to Nurfitra in Studio 2 to share about the government assistance to the women affected during the pandemic. Thank you, Nadazira at Studio 1. In order to help women who are most affected during a pandemic, the government has introduced the Maikasi Capital Program by Tansi Mohedin Yasin on 8 March 2021, with a fund of 2 million and has been improved in the latest 2022 budget to 5 million education for women to generate income from home. This basic incentive is a basic business capital assistance that will be provided in addition to a coaching program to promote online business. The program objective is to empower the economy of a target group affected by the pandemic and help improve the living standards of those in need of immediate financial assistance through financial education to start business. It is an approach that maximizes people's potential depending on their skill rather than relying solely on the government assistance. The program is expected to benefit 5,000 participants, including 2,000 single mothers. According to the graph by Department of Statistics Malaysia, the GDP annual percentage change in the second quarter of 2021 has increased to 16.1%, which is higher rather than in other quarter years. It shows that the program has assisted women in business by providing financing and it also contributes to the increase in Malaysian GDP growth as women unemployment decrease. Therefore, women will be able to increase their income and expenses during COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, private final consumption expenditure is increased from negative 1.5% in the first quarter to 11.6% in the second quarter of 2021. Our Prime Minister of Malaysia, Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, state that 20% of M40 who have income between 4,815 and 10,959 will turn to B14 during the pandemic. However, the income of female increased as the employment rate for female increased in 2021. According to Pekiso, the employment rate for female in 2021 has increased from June to August. This can be evidence that this program can increase employment for the female that suffer from this pandemic. Other than that, Malaysia's GDP increased 16.1% in the second quarter of 2021 after four consecutive quarters of contractions, and the economy is now on a V-shaped recovery part in the recovery and improvement of the country's economy and income. In conclusion, with the government assistance, it is necessary to retain people and capacity so that business can recover quickly once the economy improves. Then uh, we will back to Nazira at the Studio One to share the public perception of this program. Thank you. Thank you, Nufitra at Studio Two. Next, we will display several opinions and views from public about Budget 2021, which is my Kasih Capital Program. Uh, pada musim pandemik COVID ni, uh, pendapatan saya satu family ni, satu isi rumah ni memang agak terjejas lah. Saya isi rumah, suami saya bekerja seorang. Saya sebagai isi rumah memang uh, ada membuat mengambil tempahan menjahit. Uh, masa sebelum pandemik COVID ni, uh, tempahan memang agak banyak lah. Tapi bila dah pandemik ni, tempahan memang nampak lah dia punya kurang ni lah. Sebab yelah musim COVID ni tak ada orang nak tempah baju kan, nak ke mana, tak, tak ada nak ke mana kan. Lepas tu saya pun ada menambah menambah pendapatan dengan mengasuh anak jiran jiran-jiran. Uh, itulah memang nampaklah kesan uh, kesan sepanjang pandemik ni lah. Macam tu. 
sangatlah membantu untuk uh, menam, menambah menambah pendapatan dalam family sebab saya pun ada anak-anak yang masih bersekolah. Lepas tu bolehlah uh, menambah modal saya untuk uh, membeli-beli barang jahitan. Macam itulah lebih kurang. As we can see, My Kasih Capital Program mostly gives positive responses to every woman. It was revealed that incentives introduced by the government since March 2021 can help and alleviate the burden of single mothers supporting their families. And incentives of RM1,000 to each piker that is given from this program can help every woman with the initial capital of the business to some extent. Besides that, My Kasih Capital Program was a strategy that stated on budget 2022 to reach awas and kemakmuran bersama 2030. Thank you for staying with us in the Iwan News. I'm Nur Nazira and Nur Fitrah. See you next time. Thank you.